Hey, good morning. This is Ray over here at Namray Farms. Man, it's Friday. I hope you plan on having a great weekend. I pray that you are able to enjoy the shepherd. Today, I'm, I'm standing out here in the field and some sheep are here with me and some sheep are over here at the building. And this week, we've talked about this poisonous weed that represents sin in our life. But today, I feel like that we need to also consider something else. You know, I'd love for this weed to be completely gone out of my field. But kind of like life, here before Christ comes back, sin is going to exist. It's going to be there. There's going to be these weeds in my field, and sin is going to exist in this world. And we need not confuse sin with a sinner. When we are praying that God will remove sin from our life, we also need to understand that we are in this world. We're not to be of it. That means all around us are going to be people who enjoy the, the poisonous things in life. We need to understand that we have been sent to be a light to them. Yes, let's avoid the sin. What is so beautiful about this particular weed? I'll pick one right here. This particular weed has a very distinct smell. It's minty. And that is what keeps the sheep from eating it. They know by the smell they are not to, supposed to partake. And sin has a very distinct smell. And we know we are not supposed to partake. But that does not mean that we cannot be friends with sinners. Jesus was. Our good shepherd was friends with sinners. And he loved them. And he poured his life out to them. And he called them to follow him. And today I pray that we would be like Jesus that we would avoid the sin. We would smell it out and be like, I'm not supposed to touch that. But that we would embrace the sinner and lead them back to the feet of the one who loves them so much. Today, go enjoy the shepherd and take someone with you. I'll see you soon.